While there are many uncertain factors affect the global economy, 2019 starts on a positive note for passenger demand. The capacity growth from Europe and America's market is consistent. Middle East market hasn't escaped from the suffer of a capacity cutting down due to airline restructure. At the event of ISTAD Asia, we take time to look into a little bit more about Asian market growth and how the airlines are seeing the markets three months ahead until August 2019. Asian market is experiencing much higher ASK and seat growth than flight growth, which means long-haul flights are in the rise and more larger aircraft types are in use. China, as the largest market in Asia, will see 8% growth in seat capacity, which shows airlines continuous confidence in this market. Much higher growth rate is to be seen in some Southeast Asia market. When we look into the key trends of airlines route development from Asia, there is little change in regional market between countries within Asia. The real change is from long-haul international market, which shows a very volatile picture. Those routes connected to Dubai suffered strongly, not only because airline route restructure, but also closed one of the runways at Dubai. This creates opportunity for longer routes to grow, such as Singapore and London. While looking at the airlines, China Southern is clearly catching eyes in capacity growth. The key movements is to launch many new routes to Europe, but also cut down some regional routes which already been very competitive. But doing better in Asia is still seen as the key. As global economy and the geopolitics evolve, we will continue to monitor their impacts on Asia market and other regional markets and airline growth.